Welcome to our Electrical Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see an example on Equivalent Resistance. To download our Electrical Engineering app, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. This website is especially designed for electrical and electronics engineering students. Question Find equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Now, here for this network, we have to determine its equivalent resistance between terminal A and B. Solution First of all, we will take this circuit. Now, here we can see this is a symmetrical circuit. So, here let's assume if we apply 1 volt voltage between terminal A and B or if we apply V voltage between terminal A and B then what will happen the equal amount of current will flow between these three resistance and between these three resistance so therefore at this node we can remove this node from here and we can separate these two resistances and we can separate these two resistances so let's separate them then what will happen the circuit will look like this now here we can connect these terminals it will become like this now we can easily simplify this circuit here we can see this r and this r they are connected in series so it will be simply 2r let's copy this circuit first now let, let's paste it here so this will be simply 2r this will be 2r this will be 2r now similarly these two are in series so again it will be 2r this will be 2r now here we can clearly see this r and this 2r they are connected in parallel so r parallel with 2r so it will be simply r into 2r divided by r plus 2r it will be 2r square divided by 3r this r and this square will get cancelled so it will be 2 by 3 into r so we can replace these two resistances with 2 by 3r so first let's copy this circuit Now we can replace these two resistances with a single resistance of 2 by 3 R. So it will be 2 by 3 R. Similarly, these two are also same. So it will be 2 by 3 R. So it will be 2 by 3 R. Now here we can see this R and this 2 by 3 R and this R. They are connected in series. So it will be R plus 2 by 3 R plus R. So it will be simply R plus R 2 R and then 2 plus 2 by 3. So 2 plus 2 divided by 3. It will be 8 by 3. So 8, divi 8 divided by 3 into R. So we can replace these three resistances by 8 by 3 R. So again let's copy this circuit we are solving this circuit step by step so let's copy this now here we can replace this by single resistance so it will be simply 8 by 3 R. 8 by 3 R. 
Now next, here we can see this 8 by 3 R and this 2 by 3 R, they are connected in parallel. So 8 by 3 R parallel with 2 by 3 R. So it will be 8 by 3 into 2 by 3 and this will be R, here also R divided by 8 by 3 R plus 2 by 3 R. So this will be 8 by 3 into 2 by 3, 8 by 3 into 2 divided by 3, it is 16 by 9, 16 divided by 9 R square, divided by 8 by 3 plus 2 by 3, so this will be simply 10 by 3, 10 divided by 3 R, 8 plus 2, 10, and this 3 is common. So, this r and this r square will get cancelled. So, it will be simply 16 divided by 9 upon 10 divided by 3. 16 divided by 9 upon 10 divided by 3. So, it is 8 by 15. 8 by 15 into r. So this is the final answer for R, A, B and this is how we can solve these types of problem. So remember that here we have, we have to separate this part and this part because at this node there will be zero voltage we can say because the current is same. So this is how we can solve these types of problem. If you want to download notes you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.